before you put them on, in case they're spiders. <laughs> so <laughs> he did not Fuck put attack. his he did not he did not stab his Kategra did not stab his toes on the dagger. No. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you want so oh, you can talk of Captain Amaya after the War Council, where she is finishing up last conversations, and then she's got to go tell uh, her uh, her retinue, her team, the nine hundred third to get ready, basically. Uh, and yeah, you wanted to ask her about the Nightmare Imperium, huh? Correct. I I see you put an E for Imperium. But didn't go all the way to Emporium, and it's halfway in between. And I so, see that. To be fair, uh, I'm just not good at spelling, apparently. <laughs> okay, well, at least you own up to it. I like saying words, not spelling them. Fair enough, fair enough. Much to our chagrin. <laughs> chagrin. Chagrin as hell. Okay. Uh, yeah. Calm down, Stephanie Myers. <laughs> It's a, anyway, anyways, the lady who's Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, you you go talk with uh, Captain Amaya. She's actually heading to the mess hall for a mo like, to grab some actual food because she they literally Zyder and Amaya came into town immediately went to the war meeting like no break in between. Hmm. So she going she's going to the mess hall where she isn't going to eat in there, but you know she's just going to grab some food and go back to her not her office but her quarters. And you're welcome to accompany her. And, you know, as she grabs some food, you meet her, you know, you go to her quarters, you know, she begins eating. You ask her about the Nightmare Imperium. She does not even stop chewing. Oh, sure. She doesn't have a moment of hesitation. She just keeps chewing. So you all do know of it. We do. We've been. Then you are similar as I. In fairness, I've not gone to the actual Imperium itself. Only the city. That doesn't track with what we know, right? Like, the city is, like, hard to get to, or is it the castle that's hard to get to? Mm hmm. Okay, fair enough. I'm trying to think of like how much information you got. I'm like I'm like thinking through it right now. Like how much was has like been told to you guys? Well, because um, we were told that one of them's hard to get. To. I thought it was the city though. Like I thought the city was Vanessa Armani. Yeah, I told you that that the city's hard to get into. Yeah. How? How? Well, to be perfectly honest, I woke up there. I made no attempts at breaching in or out of the place. I was in there already. Messy. Were you not? We were, but given your comment about Grafal, I thought maybe you knew something that we didn't. The only yes. person we know is from Grafal as well that went. You know another person? That is a rare thing. I've only met some other handful of people that have had that sort of dream. Very, very a number of them were aware that it wasn't a dream. Or rather, it was a dream, but not in the way one would assume. And you already met someone else. Impressive. She's or fortuitous. Times. Big pardon? She's been there many times. Into the city? Into the Imperium itself. Ah. That is unfortunate. She stops. How sane is this woman? 
Hard to say, she was very reserved at the time. With good reason, we found her unconscious and brought her out. You found her unconscious. Interesting. What do you know so far? I cannot tell you everything about it. This is information you have to gradually come into. Knowing too much about it so quickly can damage you. What we think we know is it's... was the only Nevro city. You know it has a queen. You know that people are seeking to get to the center of it. Besides that, not much else. Hmm. Well, it is good to see that an entirely different account arrives at the same conclusion as myself. I also believed it was an olden city of some sort, although I never really posited it was Nevros. Hmm. That which I believe we can all but confirm. Really? Very well. I'll take that into consideration. Hmm. I believe this should be safe to inform you of. The city itself and the Imperium it lies in. I suppose you would say the plane, the dimension it's in, it would be the Imperium. A realm of darkness. Of nightmares. The city lies in the middle of it. The heart of it. A light amidst the darkness. The couple of times I've had conversations with people that had been there, knowingly or unknowingly, all described having been in the city when they woke up. I have yet to meet anyone that has described that they were outside of it. We were in some kind of building of sorts. Not sure if it was a church or otherwise. But there was a mm. bed. And one of our compatriots said they heard a song. The Queen. Yes. The Queen is the only, how to say, sane thing in the city. Everything else is asleep or insane. And the insane things are, I suppose you would call them invaders. You say you were in a building. What was it like? Did it have a glow about things similar to similar to what you saw from me in the meeting was it like that I, I don't remember I don't remember if it was anyone anyone remember what was the question Auto what was the building you guys were in when you guys first went to the nightmare imperium what was it, it like was it was a really big. It had two doors on either side, a back door, and like a gate that was covered in like vines. There's a dip in the middle. There was the, the tablet. Had stars, the three tablets, but not really. Do you guys recall right. if it did or did not have a glow about the place? I believe the whole yes. place had like a just an ethereal glow from all the walls and stuff. And we like, were all glowing as well. There's your phone, a friend. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you only get one. <laughs> I, I tell her that because man, I don't. <laughs> I to be fair, okay. Enough. In fairness, right? Like, how long ago was this? Like, we're on session thirty-seven oh, yeah. right now. We're, yeah, that. halfway. We're on session. Yeah, and welcome session to the Nightmare 10. Imperium. It's like that. Yeah, like you guys. Yeah, it was a while. We've had more time away from that than like we yes. have before that. Yeah. Then you were in the city as well. And yet you found someone that was outside the city. I don't know if that's a 
good or ill omen. She closes her eyes and you can see some like light emerging out from underneath it. Ill. Ill omen. On that, it was a approximately 70% certainty. Hmm. Can you describe your time there? We were assailed. Although, now that I think about it, all of our group wasn't put in the same place. Two of us were isolated separately in their own... dream, I suppose. It is called the Dreaming City. So, yes, a dream. There were tendrils, and we were assaulted by creatures that weren't any other type of being I know, but these must be the nightmares. Right. And at the end, we were offered a blessing, but we had to choose. He nods, like, this confirming accounts. Yes. A question of what do you value most? Yes? Right. Exactly. I have not been assailed in any of the times I've been. I do see those nightmarish creatures you discussed out in the distance. Oh my god, that's right. Oh, thank you, Nina. It also affected those of us that had spells. We were augmented in a way. Augmented? Right, like we were given additional power. Uh, she thinks long and hard about that. What do you believe the source of that to be? I can't be certain. But if it's asking us what we value most, and it is a dream world, perhaps it's dreaming towards progress. Maybe it was the queen herself urging us? I believe that to be a fair conclusion. Do you seek to go back? There are many, of all the people I've discussed, Ones that were and weren't aware. They've only gone once. And it's never happened to them again. Hmm. See. Then I truly do fear for my friend. Your f your friend who's gone to the Nightmare Imperium, but not the city itself. So she says. That may be the source of why she's gone so frequently. Again, all that which I've spoke, all those who I've spoken with go to the city, never outside it. A crackland of darkness and nightmares and wasteland. Let it be known, when I say darkness, I do not mean a visual darkness. I mean a corruption. A taint. Right. If you manage to get deeper into the city, towards the sections that are higher up, you can actually see out into the nightmare period. And see the wasteland it is. But that's the thing. 
you can see it. And all the creatures that walk around it. If you had the means to go back, would you? A magic door, even. I believe I would. You believe? Not just because it's a source of power, but because I feel something is hidden behind it. He nods at that. In due time, I'm sure you will manage to find your way back then. Perhaps sooner than you would think. Or longer than you would think. It is hard to tell. At times. I see. Is there anything else you believe you can offer safely? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Have any other occurrences, peculiar occurrences happened? Not necessarily during your your time in the dreamy city. But aside from that. Hmm. There was one thing, though. I can't say if it was related or not. Or something extrinsic. We were fighting a Nevros tribe, and after we had beat them, we noticed that Banners were placed on the fort we had camped out in. I don't know if it was related, but don't really have an explanation for it. Physical banners. I believe so, yes. Hmm. Mm. No. 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 It's, that's not really no and there are also visions but just like rubs his hat, hair through his hand to like fix his fix his hair it's hard to tell what is what I can tell you those visions are related. But I'm afraid I can't say more. Roll me your insight. Shut puss off. <laughs> equals get shit on kid. <laughs> you will take a 23. Oh, a 23 huh. shall be had. I feel mm -hmm. like getting the same number twice has happened like way too frequently in this campaign. Yes. It yes, it has. It's happening. Yeah. Well, when he gets bored and he doesn't want to do both, so it's just like, here. <laughs> here. Oh, isn't that coincidental, bud? Hey, have fun. <laughs> As you two are talking, you can see every now and again her eyes just sort of look off and away. She makes no particular overt effort to hide it. But, like, she just sort of turns and cranes her head, looking off at something. And then back at you. It happens for, like, less than 
a couple seconds at most when those times happen. Are they telling you something? The dreams? No. The dreams... They don't tell me any answers about this, no. I'm just looking at him. I do find it peculiar how similar you two look. <laughs> ah. So you can see it too? Not all the time. But I figured I'd check right now at the very least. They showed up before we went into battle with an avatar for Felgard. She nods. That would be the time they would show up. As so you've seen nine individuals. Hmm? It's all nine. Nine individuals that looked similar to us, but they're of different races, as well as one that looked somewhat like me. You can see your eyes go to behind you and then back to you. I see. Nine including yours? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was. I think so. I, I, yes, yes. I, I, we can both concur on it, and if, yeah, then we can change it if otherwise. Um, she nods at that. Right. She thinks on it. Hmm. Well, that's a slight discrepancy. There were ten of you at the council today. And in your company. One is... Past and another has joined recently. Right. But I read the report. Nine. Hmm. Two things on it. You close their eyes and mystically. Conferences with different <laughs> strate strategic minds. <laughs> Opens our eyes again. It still has a discrepancy. Well, I suppose that will be revealed in due time then. Why? We cannot rush these things. Is there anything else? I think I've asked more than enough of you. Yeah. 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 I am thankful for your time. I'm thankful for the accounts. These ventures. They are rare. Only a small subsect of people seem to have experienced them. Many people dismiss them as some very peculiar dream, while others sometimes believe it to be some sort of vision or prophecy. But it's rare. Very rare. All of you have experienced it. I can... I, I was able to detect that. 
when you when I first laid eyes on you. All of you. Even the one new amongst your company. I see. Whether he realizes it or not is a different story, though. Every single one of you has that sort of energy, that essence. Was there anything else? Rack your mind, ponder the past, think of questions. I don't know when the next time I'll see you will be. After this operation, I'm sure to be shipped off somewhere else. And I imagine there was around. one more thing. Yes. We were at some cultist inn. And there was a baby that was trying to crawl. That sounds wrong. It was trying to crawl towards what appeared to <laughs> oh be God. <laughs> but we stopped it and it shattered like glass and let out a horrible psychic scream. Baby. What was it like? Can you describe it? Uh, I, I mean, I've tried to describe it as best I can. But just you could just say Redane yeah, described it because it was it was very it was very very weird looking. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yes, I described the thing. You described the thing. She gets like a very big furrow and frown on her face. <laughs> Ill tidings. That Imperium, that city, that world has a deep connection to our own. More so than the Fey Wilds, the Hells, the Plains of Elements. But it is distinctly separate. Nightmares need to stay in their Imperium. What you saw was a nightmare brought to reality. If it were other people, it might have killed them instantly. Wasn't that far off? I... Perhaps it wasn't, but in due time, you'll see exactly what I mean. There were more of these cults. A friend of ours was going to investigate. Perhaps I should contact him. Was he there when the child had to be smothered? He was. Matter of fact, he was exceptionally effective. She nods. Then he is like you. Like all of us. He will be fine. What? Finer than the average person. He will still, of course, have to brave any and all threats, but against such nightmares born into reality, he will fare fine. Mm. I want to extend help to all of you to make it so that you make it through this operation more so than Captain Janik has already indicated a no casualty operation (laughs) 
if you're willing to let me try. You're far more experienced in these situations than I. Whatever you think's best, I trust. Then can you step here? He does so without hesitation. This might feel unnatural. It might feel esoteric and peculiar. Especially if you've not done it before. <laughs> but I want to see if you're able to tolerate it. You can see the room, her quarters begins taking on once again that sort of ether, air, like cloudy state as she takes your head and taps it to her hers, forehead to forehead. You do have to lean down him because I think she's shorter than you. And as she does so, your world is plunged into a darkness. Like an empty stage where the only spotlight falls upon you. The two of you are active during this period. You can both move, lean, you can feel each other breathing. And that seems to be the confirmation she needs as she begins pulling your head away. And then you're brought back. How do you feel? Nothing lingering. Felt as though I was there. With you, but alone at the same time. That's good. That's good. She sits back down and ponders. So you are able to tolerate it. Not... Well, perhaps I should give myself a credit. During the fight, my I will be able to help across the entire field to Seekers and Slayers and all of you. In an extension, my own abilities, similar to what I just did for you. But for... She thinks on how to say it. People like us. I can extend a bit further. Push myself a bit more. Do you believe it yes. will be safe to do that? I believe I will be, yes. I've done it before. Once or twice. But have you done it while fighting against foul gods as well? Not against foul gods, no. But I've done it while fighting. Then I ask you to only do it if you believe it's prudent. Noted. Would you wait here a moment? I need to go collect a list. That's what you call it. She gets up, leaves, and you are left to your own devices in her quarters which literally is, like, not lived in at all because she literally just got to town. 20 minutes? But then she comes back with, like, a, uh, like a couple pages which has, like, just general descriptions on the River Company uh, and everyone. All you guys. Including the Delta Troop. Let's see here. So, she slides over the list of all the River Company. These are the people that have gone to the Dreaming City, correct? Correct, yes. But, these haven't. And she gestures at the Delta Troop. Yes, that is correct.
Hmm. Funny. Would... Just today, one of them told me they felt as though there was something different between us. She gets like a sorrowful look on her face. I'm afraid there is. But that is not for lack of trying or ability on any of their behalf. She just of the Delta Troop. There are plenty of people like us that have been given their last rights by others. And she just of the Delta Troop again. It is not a protection. She wraps her fingers against the tabletop. From the first time you've gone into the Dreaming City, think of all the people that you've come across, excluding she gestures at the rubber company. Them. Think of everyone. And now limit it further by ones you have good rapport with. That is critical to us. Pick one. Pick one who you believe is an exemplar in whatever you're looking to get out of. I suppose for the purposes of this operation, one's capable in combat. Pick one. It could be any NPC. What? Not your like creepy. Uh, you can't pick your PC fellow River Company people. Yeah, we're we're excluded. So Phelan, that's what I was. Well, to. okay, okay. You guys are PCs are all excluded, and Kasai Lambert. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's everyone we know except Ulysses, Vanessa, and then her herself. Is that, is that all the NPCs you guys have met? That that have okay, been was... there. The question no, no, no. They don't. They ha they they no. They don't have to have oh, been there. Oh, okay. I thought you were. No, 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 no. No, no. They they there. don't have to have been there. So you could like pick Merica. You could pick um. Lasso. I I guess you guys sort of could semi pick Chaplain Dufa. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have the best relationship with him. Stuff like that. Oh Maxine, no, I know. Exactly. I was writing things. I don't entirely remember or know what this is for. Uh, don't even worry about it. my questions. Absolutely, your opinion's not needed. Disregard it. All right. Fuck you. You're <laughs> <laughs> saying I, the I most know way pick. possible. Who do you I'm, pick? I'm picking Malcolm. Ooh. Shit. Okay. Man is without a doubt exemplary. Then, you're like, I have someone. Very good. Keep them in mind as I do, as I bring you back to that which you were just in. Keep them in mind. Keep in mind what they exemplify. And, well, she brings you back. And... You tell me. What in particular, there? What ability are you looking to grab from Malcolm during this next wave? Oh, um, I don't you, even. Know. You don't have to think of it now. You don't have okay. to think of it now. But you can start. It's not something that he has. To, he himself is able to do, not necessarily, but something that 
while as she described, you imagine him as Redain or as uh, which, uh, whichever. You can imagine him doing some ideal that he's working towards. I can give you access to a sheet right now if that helps you think of any ideas. But, um, sure. Uh, I mean, the the idea is peace because he, without a doubt, he's the exemplar of that. If it is matters of peace, that might be a bit hard to do for a fight, but maybe we can figure something out. Let's see, where is his sheet? The Wandering Wardens. It's not here. Where is it? <laughs> Wait, actually, where the fuck is the sheet? Wait. <laughs> oh, there. It's still under party NPC. I gotta get around to cleaning this. <laughs> I really gotta get around to cleaning this. Friggin' cleaning. Except fall, fall cleaning. I don't think his sheet is complete. I feel like he should have, like, one or two more skills. But I think, but for features and stuff, it should be complete. So, yeah, oh, just yeah. let me know what it is you think you can gleam from Malcolm. And she will give you an equivocal ability for this upcoming fight, this upcoming operation. Whatever it is you do end up deciding, you see now a scene play out. The spotlight changing from you and Captain Amaya, although you two do keep this sort of ambient glow about you. And you see now the Haze Ghoul. Besetting down upon Malcolm himself, even though he's nowhere near where you guys currently are. And you see him tank a hit from the Haze Ghoul, bloodied, but not broken or, unb or bowed. You see, in spectral capacity behind him, some of the Brothers of Respite apparate, giving him sacred shield amidst it all. And then you're pulled back out. I don't know who that was, but I can feel your faith in them. That is good. That is good. He's a very good man. You're a very good person. I know this in my heart of hearts, that you're all good people. You will not pick someone so callous. I know this. I believe that's all for the evening, Mr. Redan. Thank you for everything. I hope you. I hope in due time, all of you arrive to where I'm at. So I might be a little less alone knowing this. It is. It is a harsh truth. To bear alone. I think, in, in, like in a very rare moment of empathy, Rudin would just say, "I hope one day I can ease that burden." Spoken like the burden bearer relates himself. Thank you. Thank you. Now, go on. Don't let me keep you for the whole evening. Right. And you head up. Just does a nod and heads out. 
Bing, bing, bada, boom. I will say also, if you decide to change your mind as to who you pick and what abilities you're getting from him in the week betwixt now and the operation session, uh, let me know. In case like you go, you start going through it all, and it's just like, well, actually, this one actually. <laughs> it would Wait, take I choose Exalted Lord Octavia. Your head explodes. Oh. I just choose God. Oh. He begins to be descended on it. No. <laughs> you cannot pick Exalted Lord Octavia. Although I did genuinely have to think about it. Damn. No. There is there are a certain parameters of people you can pick from. There, there is one other person he would have possibly picked, and that would have been Lyle. Interesting, interesting. That's fair. I thought you were gonna pick Blair. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know that I have enough faith in her to save herself from herself. It's not necessarily a matter of saving. Self from self. I I just don't think Blair's ideals align with Rodane's nearly as much as Malcolm's do. Well, it's not a matter of like you have to have the same ideals as them. That's not that's not the point. I mean, for picking. Fair enough then. Hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. you just have to pick someone who exemplifies their ideals, not your ideals, and is able to display that. That that's the one of the parameters. Like, for example, now that we're good through this scene now, remember when you guys were fighting Suyun? Mm hmm. You guys had those visions then, too. Oh my god, we did. Yeah. <laughs> So mm -hmm. every single person you guys picked for the Suyad fight exemplified some aspect of themselves in some specific way. Right? So Kasai's was based around light because she's, you know, sun cultist Nephros. Tolus is based around inspiring and helping other people because that's how Tolus Tool, is. So on and so forth. None of you guys necessarily exemplify any of the ideals shared by, you know, the uh who be what's it Delta Troop at the time but they're still on the table for you now we are wrapped up with session no one is telling me otherwise because it's like it's <laughs> two hours later it's very late hell yeah just a a casual nine hour session yeah oh my God. the longest go we've away. gone well eight and a half hours I guess yeah, I mean, I mean that is a time where I'm like I'm happy like there are solo scenes and stuff like that because then everyone mm -hmm. else has like a bit of free license to be like I'm tapping out, <laughs> yeah. I'm not there. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to just sit and listen. I did miss the beginning part of Rodane talking about Maya though, because I was just I, I was just done. I was tired. <laughs> I was out. You know, I was writing stuff down like half that time. I was trying to listen, but. It's I like was a 15 listening. minute recording that's just for day. <laughs> well, I was listening, but I can't. Well,